da, 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 da. And up she goes. Close the garage door. Closing. Hang on. There you Smart go. garage door opener is closed. Hey guys, well, whatever. Welcome back, and my name is Miller, and welcome to the channel where we are in the five-bedroom house that we have built on this channel, which had a twist to it because we had a problem with the cowboy builder, which a lot of you already know about. However, whilst I walk upstairs, and the purpose of this video, which is why you've clicked on it, is to understand what we've done regarding the garage to make it a smart system. And there it is. This is what I was after. Ah, there we go. Right. So I reached out originally to my garage door installer um, and I'm very pleased by the way with the garage door in general and their installation of it for this smart system and I even told them what it was smart life blah 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 and they said yeah we do that it's £150 plus VAT for the device £60 plus VAT to install it I was like not happening at all proof of that on screen right now and then excuse me Proof as well, on screen now, of how much I paid for it on Amazon. So as you can imagine with the ability to do things myself, I took it on myself to fit this system. However, this is where I've had a bit of a little snag. There was absolutely zero instructions. There was actually no help from the manufacturer itself, as in the door manufacturer. So I had to pretty much figure it out myself on how to do it. And I'm going to show you now what I've done and what needs to be done to make it a smart system and how actually generally brilliant it is because to give a bit of context on it all, there is two remotes that came with our system. Steph has one in a car and another relative, my parents have the other one so they can come and go when they want into the house and blah, blah, blah. So I don't have a fob and I have the fact that I've got a dog who gets dirty and I don't want to bring her like I do at the moment through the middle of the house. I want to wash her down and dry her off, etc., in the garage, then bring her in. However, I don't have a fob, so I can't get in. And because all my devices in this house are keyless, you can see the problem that I had. And so this was like the plan of action. We'll get a smart thing. I can control it on my phone. I can then come in and out the garage. Perfect. So I'm going to talk you through what I've done. Let me just put this here and I'll explain the situation. Okay, so this is the unit that I have. Way nearly just fell over. So that is my make and model of my garage unit. And all you get with the actual device itself is a reader which i'll show you which turns down to the front of the garage so you know if it's opened or closed the actual power element of it and this is the wi-fi receiver and power element of it so it knows what to do in terms of control to open and close the door so when you come to controlling the device that you, on my particular version this you just simply pull the little block out and these two wires here from the um receiver the smart smart garage receiver we'll call it needs to go into number one and number two because that is the receiver um so if you're having for argument's sake a wall receiver being a keypad or anything like that this is what it would also go into so forget the fact that the the wireless receiver goes directly into it this is for something that's getting hardwired in now you've got two elements here you've got an upper row and a lower row you see i'm in the lower row and that's because the cables are really thin and all you simply do is actually just push the cables into these the numbers that are is the number one and two receiver so positive and negative of that receiver so there's no actual like screw in there's no nothing clever or anything like that that is simple as it is i'm just going to push that back in ba -ba -ba. And what I've done temporarily is just put some bat boxes in here because I haven't yet finished the wiring in this house. So don't mark me down for this, etc. That is obviously to not make the next ring main live and everything like that. So like I say, receiver goes all the way through to the internet receiver, the Wi-Fi receiver, and then at the same time, that's the power. And what you have down here, I'm going to pull it out for you. You have what is a magnet. Let me just pull it down. Now you need to fix this on, which is what I need to sort out today. 
this is element here which is what tells you when the garage is open and closed and you have another one on obviously at the same side of where it'll be when it's closed so when it goes down it'll be in front of that and therefore it'll say i am now closed i'm now open etc and things like that all good all fun so now that we're in and we need to speak to the devil to show you a very cool feature because not only can you control the garage through the smart app which is good you can also control it so when you're leaving the house you can shout to open the garage and close the garage when you come back in and everything like that now i'm going to mute it so it doesn't activate yours but when you do it it'll ask for a password which you set again in the app so you set a four digit password of numbers so that that prevents um burglars and things like that shouting through the window saying open the garage door you do need a password to do it and i'm going to show you what that is like now so i'm going to mute it and we'll go from there open the garage what's your voice code for garage opening magic there you go and as you can imagine you'd also say to it close the garage door closing hang on there you smart go. garage door opener is closed so I didn't want to turn this into a, like a review video or a product overview or anything like that. It's because I couldn't find anything on the internet to show how to fit these on my particular make of door. Now, I don't know what it's like for the doors, but to give some context on how rubbish this manual is, it just gives you page after page after page after page of apparent doors that it works with. So if you want me to check before you buy, if your door will work with this particular device, just simply give me a message and I will certainly give you a check for you. You can message me on Instagram or comment on the you know comments below in the video and I will get back to you. But on that lovely end of the video, thanks ever so much for watching. My name is Miller and I have built this five bedroom house renovation with my partner Steph and I'll be uploading videos quite regularly now since we're doing, well, it's calmed down a bit and I'm getting more and more free time on an evening to do things. So yeah, thanks ever so much. Peace out and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.